Today we'll be talking to you about the Digital Smile Design, DSD. The Digital Smile Design is a multi-use conceptual tool that can strengthen diagnostic vision, improve communication, and enhance predictability throughout treatment. DSD sketches can be performed in presentation software such as Keynote, Microsoft PowerPoint, DSD improved visualization makes it easier to select the ideal restorative technique. The DSD protocol is characterized by effective communication between the interdisciplinary team including the dental technician. Every team member can add information directly on the slides in writing or using voiceover, thus simplifying the process even more. All team members can access this information whenever necessary to review it. Every team member can add, alter or add elements during the diagnostic and treatment phases. Digital smile design depends on six basic shots. The shots are preferred to be taken with a professional camera with the following. First of all, ask your patient to sit on a stool next to the wall and use the box of gloves and place it in between the neck of the patient and the wall. Ask your patient to gently press the box of gloves against the wall to hold it in the position, as shown here. The first one is the face retracted. It is a retracted front view with a teeth apart and fixed head position. Eyes must be open. Eyes look straight to the camera. Glasses to be removed. Teeth apart 2 mm by making the patient saying E. Make sure to take a full face photo. The second one is face smile. A full face front view. Teeth apart. Make sure same head position as for two one. Eyes open. Remove retractors. Third photo is profile relaxed. Take the photo of the patient's profile with lips and teeth in contact in relaxed position. Photo number four, which is the profile smile. Take the photo of the patient's side profile with a full smile. Make sure we have the full side profile. Now take care in any smile not to take an exaggerated or full smile. This could be achieved by talking to the patient while taking the photo until the patient naturally smiles. Photo 5 which is 12 o'clock. The 12 o'clock is one of the most important photos. Be sure the patient is smiling. When smiling make sure the teeth are resting on the bottom lip. Be sure the incisal edge can be seen. Be sure to take full face starting from the hairline. The 12 o'clock photo can be taken with two options. Option 1. Patient in a dental chair in horizontal position. Take your position behind the head of the patient and point your camera to the head of the patient. Ask the patient to smile and set the focus point on the front of our teeth before taking the shot. Ask the patient to look back into the lens of your camera without moving the head. Option 2 for 12 o'clock. Put the patient on a stool with their elbows supported on their knees. Ask the patient to hold their head in a relaxed position. Take your position in front of the patient and then he or she should make a full smile and raise their eyes into the direction of the lens of the camera without changing the position of the head. The last one is the occlusal one. Photo of an occlusal view of the upper arch from the central incisors to the first premolars. This could also be taken with two options. Option 1 can be taken with the intraoral occlusal mirror. Option 2 with the patient sitting on a stool with their head raised up and the upper lip retracted. Thank you for now and those are the 6 basic photos that are used in digital smile design. In the next videos we will be talking to you through the whole process of how to analyze those photos and get the work done.